And one of them is uh, George Naylor, uh, a real extra Iowa farmer and an advocate for the planet and the soil. And he's a great guy. Listen to his message. Hi, yeah, I'm George Naylor. I've been farming for 38 eight, eight years on my family farm. Sorry. Okay, good. Yeah, I, uh, I farm in Greene County near Sherdan. I've uh, been farming for 38 years on the family farm. Um, I chose not to raise genetically modified crops. And I believe in most cases I can uh, meet most of the yields, especially in corn. Sometimes my uh, wheat control in beans is problematic. Uh, just like a, uh, an organic farmer might tell you too. But uh, you have to think about what's good for the planet. I, uh, and you know, I, many years ago, I planted almost nothing but pioneer seed, seed corn, and I planted Asgro soybeans, which is a Monsanto company now. But when they brought out genetically modified crops, they took all of the non-GMO varieties off the market. So you can understand why farmers basically felt like they had no choice but to raise genetically modified crops, and that's the story of monopoly for you. Now I'm going to use a four-letter word to describe the world food price, and that's scam. Yeah. It's really a, just an infomercial for these big companies and their, their uh, products that have been patented. Uh, I've got another word for you. It's a ten-letter word. Corruption. Yeah. This is what this represents. It's corruption. It's no different than uh, Koch brothers advertising on TV. It's the same kind of corruption, and it floats around the world just like their genetically modified pollen. So will, will we ever be able to bring it back 